what's going on guys it's omniarch and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about everything that we know about kill streaks in call of duty modern warfare 2019. yeah 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 now before i jump into the video you guys know that i rarely ever do any plugs at the beginning of my videos but i really really want you guys to know about my new discord server that i just created it's going to be in the description below you can click the link and join uh, a lot of guys a lot of people have been telling me to make a discord over the years and i never saw the point of it up until recently so i know a lot of you guys follow me exclusively on youtube some people follow me exclusively on instagram or twitch or twitter so i wanted a place where my entire community can come together and talk about our love of call of duty love of video games in general and also share some dank memes and pictures of pets and food and everything like that so i hope i see you guys in my discord in the link below i would really love to get to know you guys a little bit more and with that being said guys let's jump right into the video now the other day a couple days ago i would say maybe a little less than a week ago at this point we saw a list of kill streaks get leaked for call of duty modern warfare and i noticed this morning that charlie intel posted three images of different kill streaks that are going to be in call of duty modern warfare so i want to talk a little bit about these three pictures that we see on twitter and also i wanted to cover the list of kill streaks that were leaked for this game as well as uh, my opinion on kill streaks and call of duty and how i hope that they work in the upcoming game now the first kill streak image that we saw on charlie intel's twitter account is the juggernaut kill streak which is really really cool we're actually seeing the juggernaut come back from call of duty modern warfare 3 and underneath the image it says call in a care package that contains the juggernaut assault gear so the fact that it says assault gear makes me wonder if there's also going to be a support gear uh, just like there was in modern warfare 3 so kind of a a more offensive and a more defensive um, duality with the juggernaut kill streak but the one we see in the picture looks like it's uh, super super heavily armored but also on the right side of the image you see what appears to be a minigun hanging up on the wall so it's likely that that is going to be the weapon of choice for this particular juggernaut kill streak so we'll have to see exactly how this kill streak plays out if it's going to be uh, more defensive or more offensive i would imagine with kit with a uh, gun like a minigun it's probably going to absolutely shred let's jump into the next kill streak image that we saw here on charlie intel and this is the infantry assault vehicle so it says manned light infantry assault vehicle with a 50 caliber machine gun on top now this kill streak is really interesting because it looks really big but if we look at the description it sounds like this is something that you're going to have to control yourself unlike something like maybe a mantis or something like that where you know you kind of drop the care package and it spawns in and then it roams around the map because it's small enough to go into buildings and things like that the infantry assault vehicle looks like a tank that you basically have to drive around yourself so i wonder how this is going to work in game uh, because again it looks really big it looks like you're not going to be able to bring it into any buildings um it looks like you know it's probably going to be pretty slow but it sounds like it might be really difficult to destroy or maybe it's going to be super powerful maybe it kills you like super super fast i'm not sure um i wonder how this is going to play out i wonder if it's going to play a big part in spawn trapping if it does have a lot of health and a lot of damage but slow movement Movement speed you still could potentially spawn trap pretty badly uh, with something like this so I wonder how this is gonna work again it looks really big so I don't know how this is going to work on a smaller map um, but we're just gonna have to wait and see I think it, it's an interesting uh, type of kill streak one that we haven't seen really too much we like I said we haven't seen any tank like vehicles in Call of Duty multiplayer so this is gonna be really cool and the final image that we got on the Charlie Intel Twitter account is called white phosphorus now this says cover the battlefield with white smoke flare canisters that will disorient the enemy and burn any that wander too close now I wonder if this is going to function similar to the napalm strike in Call of Duty black ops that was a really really interesting uh, kill streak in that game and we haven't seen too many things like it since then essentially what the napalm strike would do is it would fly overhead uh, with a essentially an airstrike but instead of dropping bombs it would actually drop a trail of 
fire that would essentially kill the enemy team immediately if they were to get caught in the blaze and not only would it kill them on on impact when it gets deployed but also the flames would stay on the ground for a certain amount of time and you could tactically place this around certain objectives so people maybe wouldn't be able to jump on the b flag if you drop a napalm on it because now if they jump on the flag they're going to catch on fire and die immediately so that was a really really cool kill streak somewhat frustrating because sometimes you know you couldn't really tell if there were flames on the ground still you know as it was fading it looked like it was safe and you would cross and you would die kind of frustrating there so this sounds like it's very similar it's a picture of an airplane with obviously these white smoke canisters so it looks like it's going to drop a white phosphorus onto the map that is primarily there to disorient the enemy so maybe something like a stun grenade or something of the sort uh, but also maybe if you land directly if it lands directly on top of an enemy then maybe that is enough to actually just kill them straight out I think that would be a really really interesting uh, balancing of the napalm strike because then you know it doesn't actually kill you instantaneously if you walk through the residual of the kill streak um it just disorients you which is still a really big deal um it's super good for defending uh, objectives as well um but it doesn't instant kill you so it's not like super overpowered for defending b flag or something like that but also it rewards the offensive player who drops the white phosphorus um for being accurate so if you know like okay this is where the enemy team is going to be running through if you drop it right at the right time you're still rewarded with those kills by being correct in your judgment of enemy uh, traffic items now i want to talk a little bit about some of the other kill streaks that we saw were rumored to be in the game or were essentially leaked um right now i'm going to be looking at the gfinityesports.com article um that has a list of all the kill streaks that apparently are going to be in the game uh so what we see here is a, the first one is the personal UAV so it says this is an unmanned helicopter that flies around and pings enemies on a minimap it's noted that there is no minimap at present so that's really interesting um, it looks like there's no minimap but the personal UAV looks something like if you remember in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare you actually had um, I forgot that little personal drone that you could fly around and it had different attachments you could have a machine gun on it or a rocket but you also could have it um, basically uh, uh, paint people on the mini map uh, on the mini map with this uh, drone I think that's kind of going to be what the personal UAV is going to be like but the fact that it's also a helicopter is kind of unfortunate because now it's probably going to be really easy to shoot down plus it says it's a personal UAV so it might only be just for you so this is a massive nerf to your standard UAV hopefully it doesn't take that many kills to get it hopefully it'll still be worth it to use probably uh, going to be really good in things like free-for-all not so good uh, for team-based game modes because your teammates aren't going to get to use it um, we also see a shielded turret a deployable turret that comes equipped with a shield this kind of reminds me of the shield that you can deploy in call of duty black ops 4 maybe like uh, i think it torque is the one who deploys it if i'm remembering correctly um, but it probably won't have a heat wave radiation shield instead it'll just be a shield with a gun on it that's what i'm imagining this would look like i wonder if this is going to be an automatic turret or one that you're going to be forced to man yourself i think that's really going to make the difference of whether or not it's good or not and how people are going to use it we also see a care package same thing as all the way back in modern warfare 2 it just drops a random kill streak no change there we see a scrambler drone that deploys a drone that will hover to an area and disrupt enemy minimap so again if there's no if there's no minimap at present then i'm not sure how this is going to be effective other than just being a counter to the personal uav which i don't think is that powerful anyway i wonder how this is going to work um, we see cluster strike allows you to tag an area with a laser this signal fight this signals fighter jets to bomb bombard an area with gunfire so this sounds kind of like a um like a mortar strike or something like that in past games this hasn't been super good um maybe good in something like domination or you know it depends really on how quickly the cluster strikes come in if there's too much of a delay then the enemy team is going to be moved by the time that it hits so it's got to be pretty quick it's got to be like a lightning air strike um where it really just attacked right away the next one is cruise missile destroys uh, deploys a missile from the sky to impact an area with high damage so that sounds similar to like a predator missile or a hellstorm missile or something like that um, next we have a uav that says this is similar to the personal uav but provides a mini map for the whole team so this is basically your standard uav um, it probably will be a helicopter just like in the first uh, in the personal uav hopefully not but if it's going to be the same thing but for the whole team that's what it's looking like to me so this looks like it's going to be a lot more kills to obtain which in you know it depends i think uh 
people have picked up on the fact that the UAV is one of the best kill streaks in the game, so I can understand them pushing it farther and farther back in the kill streak lineup. But it's still unfortunate because it's not something that bad players typically use. So it was something that the good players used, the bad players didn't. It gave good players another advantage, which was nice. Now, the next one is Precision Airstrike that says this allows you to mark an area on the battlefield to send a barrage of mortars. So I wonder how this is going to be different from the Cluster Strike. So I wonder if the Cluster Strike is maybe going to be like two or three different points on the map that you can tag, whereas the person air Precision Airstrike is just going to bomb the same spot multiple times. I wonder how those are going to be different and how you're going to use them differently and if either of them are going to be super useful. In the past, those types of kill streaks haven't been that good. Um, the next one is called Wilson, a small remote tank that you drive and shoot enemies with high caliber and explosive rounds works like a Cerberus from Black Ops 3. So that's really interesting. I'm wondering how that's going to work. Depending on how many kills that is, that could be a really good kill streak. If it's around like the nine kill streak mark, that might be really, really good. Uh, next is a chopper. Take control of a chopper and mow down enemies with bullets and missiles. So that sounds like a chopper gunner to me. I'm really hoping that that is a lower kill streak, like a 12 kill streak or something, and not something insane like 17 or 18. Um, I really want this to be something that's attainable for most people. Then we have the Pavlo. Not much to talk about there. It just has an AI chopper that assists you. Basically the same thing. Then we have an advanced UAV. So this acts like a blackbird from the Black Ops series where it will show the enemy team consistently and the way they're facing. I'm super happy about this because this is a super powerful kill streak. This is one of the best kill streaks in all of Call of Duty. The Blackbird in Black Ops was just insanely good. Um, super, super powerful. So I'm glad to see it coming back now. Next, you see a Bradley that says you receive a two man tank on a selected location only available on large maps so this looks like something really really powerful um, a two-man tank is cool because then you and a buddy can jump into it so if you're doing well and your teammates doing badly at least they can jump in and have some fun um, next we see a VTOL which is a fighter jet that hovers a selected area and rains down hellfire on enemies so that sounds very similar to the Harriers in Modern Warfare 2 which is incredible but it looks like it's uh, missing the airstrike portion which let's be honest the main perk of using the Harrier was the fact that it was hovering there and just turning and killing people. That was the best part of it. But sometimes you would get lucky with the uh, airstrike portion as well. So it's kind of a bummer to see that go away, but this balances it a little bit more. So I think that's really, really nice. Next, we see a nuke kill streak, which is a huge deal. I'm super excited about this. I'm really, really happy that they're bringing the nuke back. We need a nuke in Call of Duty. We absolutely need a nuke that not only kills everybody, but ends the game and that is what it says here it says a reported 25 kills in a row will give you a nuke that will end the game and award you the win if this is true then this is a going to be an, a super fun call of duty assuming that the rest of the kill streaks are set up properly um next we have an ac-130 called the gunship uh, this says the AC-130 is in the game. However, it's called a gunship because they have yet to acquire the license for its name. I doubt that they're going to pay for that license, so I can only imagine it's going to just be called a gunship. But the AC-130 is one of the fan favorite uh, kill streaks in all of Call of Duty, so I'm super excited to see this one come back. I was always a bigger fan of the chopper gunner, but the fact that we're seeing the AC-130 come back as well is super, super cool. Next, we see a Hilo, which says, again, the license has yet to be obtained for the name, so maybe that's supposed to be the chopper gunner i don't know um i there's no other information about that one next we see century gun a deployable automated turret so this is kind of uh contrasting the shielded turret so i guess the shielded turret is probably one that you have to use and the sentry gun is an automatic one so i'm going to be interesting to see which one costs more kills next we have a shield turret chest high shield with a turret you can operate probably on a vehicle so that's it looks like they've they've put it that twice and then emergency drop is four care packages dropped in the marked location so this is just an emergency supply drop super cool i really like that kill streak um, in modern warfare 2 because not only does it give your team a huge advantage but it also gives the enemy team a chance to steal some of those packages which i think is really really cool now we also know that these are in fact kill streaks and not score streaks which means that you're going to be getting these uh, rewards for kills and not just points but the, apparently there is a perk in the game that will convert you into a point streak system so essentially if you equip this perk then you will earn your kill streaks based on objective plays and things like that so that's gonna be really really interesting to see how people use that perk um, in, in certain game modes because you know things like um, things like kill confirmed and domination you might be better off using that perk than something else because you're gonna be able to stack those kill streaks a lot faster it looks like we do also have different tiers of kill streaks so like an assault a support and a specialist just like modern warfare 3 so I'm super excited about that but 
one last thing I want to talk about, guys, is how the kill streaks work. I'm hoping that these kills kill streaks stack just like they did in Modern Warfare 2. Personally, I think Modern Warfare 2 was the pinnacle of kill streak design because not only were the kill streaks relatively easy for everybody to get, which makes it really fun for all players, but they were also really powerful, which means they were super, super fun to use. And I really hope that we get that back in Call of Duty because that has been missing for very, very long. It's been years since we've had really good kill streaks in Call of Duty. And I think that is what made people love Call of Duty to begin with was super good kill streaks. So really I'm hoping that these kill streaks stack. Um, and I'm also hoping that we see these specialist kill streaks return from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 because running around after a seven kill streak with all the perks attached was just absolutely insane. I absolutely loved that. Getting the Moabs was so much fun with those with those perks attached. But that being said, guys, make sure um, you drop a thumbs up on the video if you learned something new, if you enjoyed the content. Um, again, follow my Discord down below. Join that community, and I will hopefully see you guys uh, over there. Comment down below telling me what you think about kill streaks in Call of Duty. Are you excited for this list, or are you a bit disappointed? Do you not want to see a new comeback? Let me know in the comment section below if you're new around here make sure you subscribe to my channel and click that bell to turn the notifications on if you don't like notifications that's totally fine i understand that make sure instead that you follow me on instagram and on twitter that way you know the next time that i upload or go live on twitch and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace